Hello, my name is Dr. Ray Taheri. I am not a medical doctor and I cannot provide any medical advice. Two things prompted me to make this video today and we will talk about how to make hand sanitizer at home. Reason one, I was trying to get some personal hand sanitizer. I went everywhere in Kelowna, Superstore, Walmart, uh, Home Depot, even dollar shops and they are completely out of hand sanitizers. Considering Kelowna is a smaller community and there is no outbreak, I cannot imagine what happens if we will have, God forbid, an outbreak of coronavirus. Some places they ask me, hand sanitizer? Almost I ask them, do you have kryptonite or unobtainium? The second reason is I look at tens of videos on YouTube telling you how to make hand sanitizers and unfortunately many of them are incorrect. They are missing some very crucial information. Uh, the last thing you want is to make a hand sanitizer which does not sanitize your hand. Number one, what we need to know is that at least we have to have 60% alcohol content in our hand sanitizers. Many of these videos said that use any kind of alcohol above 70%, absolutely incorrect. You must, and I repeat, you must use 99% alcohol content in order to use this recipe. Otherwise, it's a kind of chemistry 101. If you have 70% hand sanitizers, you dilute a 2 to 1 with aloe vera oil. At the end, you don't have even 50% content of alcohol. Unfortunately, that's not going to be effective. The second problem I noticed, many of these, they actually have the alcohol in a dish and they wait and they add the aloe vera oil. You try to mix it for a few minutes. Unfortunately, we know that alcohol vaporizes very fast. And by the time you finish, you already reduced the alcohol content of your uh, final uh, recipe. Many people, they use actually weight percent instead of volume percent. Alcohol always goes with the volume. You never use weight percent. If you go by weight percent, you have too much alcohol. And you may say, oh, alcohol is better. That's incorrect too. Because higher content of the alcohol, like a 90%, it could be more effective, but the problem is uh, it vaporizes faster and does not provide the enough window of 10 to 20 seconds to have completely disinfect your hand. Of course, washing with the soap is the best, but unfortunately, many of us, we don't do it properly, like you do fingertips and the way that they do, for example, in surgery room. 90% uh, of the germ would be transmitted uh, by our fingers, not by the back of our hands. So these are very important. So, I go to two different recipes. One, if you do not have 90% alcohol or 99% alcohol, I got this one from Costco. It's very inexpensive, about, I think, $2 or $3 per baller. But I went to Dollar Shop, and I got this 70% alcohol content. It comes in a spray. What if I get this one only? Do not use the normal recipe to this because it's going to ruin your uh, hand sanitizer uh, recipe. If I have 70%, first thing I do, I remove about one tenth of this, which is about 10 milli, right around here. So I remove this much. So now I have 90 milli. This is 100 ml. And then I use something is called gristling. 99%, this is about $4. I bought it from uh, Walmart. So you add this glycerin until you fill up the remaining of that 10 ml. And I always suggest to add some kind of essential oil. One of the best is the lemongrass. It has extremely strong smell. So you add about maybe 10, 15. There we go. And now, I tap it off here, I do it a little bit over, I tap it off here, and I mix it. It takes about maybe one or two minutes to be completely mis mixed. So remember that I didn't put the alcohol in a dish, and I didn't give enough time to alcohol to be vaporized. It's pretty good now. It's a consistent, and now what I'm going to use here, simply, I spray it in my hand, and there we go. Adding the gristling would be very helpful because it does not allow the alcohol to be completely vaporized. And actually smells very good. I wish you could also smell it. Oh, I love it. So 
That is the recipe number one. Do not use 70% alcohol content. That is the only way to go. So what if I get 99% alcohol? Good. So in this case, now I introduce, I uh, already told you about the gristling. I introduce another easily available, readily available. It's called aloe vera gel. That's about $4 in Dollarama, and it's about uh, 700 ml. So I am going to mix the alcohol and aloe vera gel, uh, gel uh, to the ratio of roughly about 1 to 2. You can go also 1 to 3, something between. Either way, the actual, uh, even if I do 1 to 2, still you would be around that 60% percent depends on how consistently you want to have this I did already remove about one third of this so it used to be 500 I remove about 170 so it's been removed already so in this case I go three to one ratio so the total is four and after all the, the math you do I would have 75 percent the alcohol content if you do one to two then you divide it uh, by uh, one third so in this case you will get 66 percent alcohol it still is good depends on how consistent you want to have it so i'm going to remove this the cap and i'm going to just simply add you have to be very patient in this process because it takes maybe a, a minute or two but it's important do not pour alcohol in a dish with a large surface area because you will actually will have have your alcohol evaporated we are almost there so you see i'm just going there yes it's finished so i uh, mix it you see that now i have almost this so you mix it so fortunately this mix very fast so almost you need a couple of shakes and then I open it again and add a little bit of gristling. It's not very important how much, but I would say maybe about uh, two tablespoons of glycerin. Glycerin has the effect of not uh, letting it dry so fast. I mix it again. Okay, there. And last but not least, I would like to add my lemongrass, which has very strong smell essential oil and this uh, kind of uh, counteract with uh, the strong alcohol smell. Uh, here, of course, I add a little more. I add maybe about 30 uh, drops. You don't need to really count it. Maybe 30 to 50 drops is good. There we go. Depends on how strong you want to have the smell. And now you have your completely effective hand sanitizers. The next thing you do, you obviously can buy one of these packages. So I bought this one also from Dollarama. They come in different forms of spray, uh, hand lotion, and this one. By the way, last but not least, when you buy these ones, these are already made, you never get this consistency because of the fact that this has been done in the sterile, through the industrial process. I did some experiment using gelatin. That's exactly what they use in hand sanitizers. It is possible to get the same consistency, but you need to be much more accurate. You know, it takes longer time. And obviously, you will not have this. Theirs are become very expensive, $2.99 for about 30 mil, almost about $500 per gallon, speaking about the liquid gold. So here, what I made already, and having that gelatin makes it also very smooth and smells good. So I hope this helps you. Um, if you have any allergy to any of these ingredients, you have to consult with your family doctor, but this is pretty straightforward and simple. Thank you very much, and I hope to uh, see you in the next uh, video.